Okay, I'm here with the KTH series of Samars mowers. This in particular is a KT341H hydrogen pneumatic. So the first notable difference is this doesn't have the big flotation spring across the top. It has a unique ram assembly where you have two cylinders which share the same spear. The big one at the end does the lifting and the smaller one here does the suspension. The machine has three hoses. The red hose is for the lift and charging of the pressure and the two blue hoses go into a separate SCV bank and they fold the mower head around to the back for transport. We're just going to focus on the red hose today. When we go to charge the pressure we always start with the cutter head flat on the ground. There's no pressure on the gauge at the moment. We have a very simple control unit here which just plugs into the cigarette lighter with one button. To charge the system, give that button a press till the green light comes on. We pull back on our lever until we get about 65, 70 bar of pressure in the gauge. Press the button again to lock that pressure in there. One thing about these mowers, to get them to fold all the way up into transport lock, you need pressure in that gauge. You need pressure to push the piston back into the small cylinder. With no pressure in there, it won't go all the way in. A good uh, practice is when you have got it in transport, put your lever into float, and it just takes the pressure off the ram and it just allows the machine to put its weight on the hook. When you want to fold it back out, you obviously have to lift the, pull the SCB back a bit, take the pressure off the hook, pull the string. Right now, drop down. At the end of the day, or when you are uh, taking the machine off the tractor, it is good practice to relieve the pressure. Push the button again, green light comes on, and we just put our SCV lever into float, and that dumps all the pressure off. Push the button again to lock it. So if I demonstrate now what happens if you try to fold the mower up with no pressure in the gauge. gets jammed about there because there's no it isn't past the point of tilting over you just need some pressure in that cylinder there to push to, to pull the spear down so that's what happens Just put your 65, 70 bar back in the gauge. Good to go. 